we are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. This one guy said Abra Kebabra in Ruckreuz, which is actually one of the best names I ever heard for a kebab. Is the kebab as magical as the name? Let's go and find out. This is how Abra Kebabra looks like. It's just a stand in the industry area. And here is the meat. Here the whole kebab. And let's make the meat test. And now the whole thing. Abra Kebabra, really nice name, but the kebab, unfortunately, is nothing special. I would even say it's bad. The meat is cold, not homemade, and the whole thing was pretty cold. I will give it a three out of 10, and he doesn't even make it in the list. Here is the complete list of all the kebabs. Don't forget to check out these videos. And if you think you know the best kebab in Switzerland, let me know in the comments. I go through torture. I eat every kebab to find the best one in Switzerland. Make sure to follow this account so you know which is the best kebab in Switzerland. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Falcon in Oberagari. We are here. Let's go. This is Falcon Oberagari from the outside. This is the restaurant inside. Here are the veggies. No meat inside. Here is the kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. So Falcon Oberagari. I'm searching the best kebab in Switzerland, but it keeps getting worse. The bread was so dry I almost couldn't eat it. And the meat had absolutely no taste. The veggies and the sauce made the whole kebab cold. This was nothing. I give this kebab a 2.5 out of 10. Here you can see my top 10 ranking list with actually good kebabs. Let me know in the comments a good kebab spot because we are searching for the best kebab. You guys said Wald, Wald Imbiss. We are here, let's go. This is Wald Imbiss from the outside, located in Wald. The cash only sign already makes me suspicious. Here are the veggies. They hide the meat in the back. Here is the kebab. Bread test, meat test. And now the whole thing. So Waldimbis in Wald. Whoever recommended this one, please don't ever recommend me anything else. This was a bad kebab. When they cut the meat and put it in the warm drawer and cut the meat with the scissor, that's bad. Bread was also not fresh, just real quick toasted. Also the sauces, nothing special. I didn't even taste the cocktail sauce and the veggies didn't have any taste at all. I would give this kebab 2.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebab spot and see you guys next time. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and this kebab was made by one of the best burger restaurants in Zurich. Studio Kebab by Future Kitchens. And this kebab can only be delivered. Let's go. This is how the kebab arrives at your home. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Studio Kebab by Future Kitchens. We did delivery and let me tell you something, the whole kebab arrived cold. The meat is chicken meat, but was kind of lacking of flavor, was kind of bland and very soft to chew through. And I'm not sure if this is factory meat or not. The bread is definitely homemade, but unfortunately due to delivery, it arrived soggy, very soft and not with a lot of taste. Inside the kebab are vegetables, which aren't fresh anymore. And also the sauces didn't provide anything to the kebab. What do we learn? Kebab is not a delivery product. This is only a free out of 10. Keep letting me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. We are in Kriens, Pilatus kebab. Nobody told me about this, but I thought I'm gonna try it. Let's go. This is Pilatus kebab from the outside. Here is it from the inside. The fresh vegetables. Here is the whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Pilatus kebab in Kriens. Unfortunately, this was not a good kebab. The bread was quite crispy, but almost too crispy, in my opinion. The meat standard processed and also the sauces didn't really fulfill their job. I would give this one a 3 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments and see you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Carrera Kham. I haven't been here for more than 10 years. Let's see how it is. This is Carrera from the inside. Pretty normal kebab shop. Here is the meat. Here is the whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. 
Carrera in Ham. Unfortunately, this was a disappointing kebab. Nothing was homemade, not even the sauces. The meat, minced standard meat from the fabric. The bread was heated up in the microwave. This is a no-go for me. And everything else also pretty standard. At the end, the kebab was so dry, I almost couldn't finish it. Unfortunately, only three points out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. A lot of you said I wear this. We are here, let's go in. This kebab restaurant looks already incredible from the outside. And also from the inside, it doesn't disappoint. Branding, interior and cleanliness are on point. Unfortunately, it's minced meat and not self-made. Let's try this thing. Mmm. I wear this. What a disappointment. Marketing, on point, really nice location, but flavorless, cold meat, soggy, strange bread and way too many onions. That was bad. 3 out of 10. If you think you know the best kebab, let us know in the comments and we will check it out. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and you guys have been asking for this for a very long time. Food corner, Ebikon. Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the outside. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Food corner in a big home. A little tip from my side. If you see sriracha on the table, run. Standard factory meat, standard factory bread, and to put so much sauce in the kebab that everything falls apart. No special flavor of this kebab. You basically just taste the corn. To me, this is a below average kebab. I would give this one a 3.5 out of 10. If you want to see the whole ranking table, click the link in the bio. There you can find it. Let me know which kebab I should try next. We love food, yummy! What's important for us in a kebab? First, homemade bread. Outside crispy, inside fluffy. Second, homemade meat. Slices of meat with its own flavor and homemade seasoning. Third point, homemade sauces. Not too overwhelming, but complement the whole kebab. And fourth criteria, fresh veggies. Crunchy and gives a healthy flavor to the kebab. A simple kebab with good quality ingredients. Now let's go to Station Kebab in Zug and see how many criterias it fulfills. We already can see the pressed meat. Here we have the kebab. When we look at the criteria, the bread is not homemade. Let's look at the meat. As you can see here, this is the pressed factory meat. Third criteria, sauce. I always take cocktail and yogurt sauce. Definitely the yogurt sauce stands out and it's actually pretty good. And the veggies are with carrots and salad inside, but the veggies don't have that much flavor. That's why this kebab gets only a 3.5. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. We are in beautiful Küsnach. You guys said Rigi Pizza. We are here. Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the outside located in Küsnach am Rigi. This is inside. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Rigi Pizza in Kriznacht am Rigi. Actually a very friendly owner, which is rare in the kebab industry, but the kebab itself as standard as it gets. Meat and bread both from the factory. Sauces also pretty standard. The bread was way too soft in my opinion and the meat didn't have any taste. I'm keeping it real with you guys. I give this one a 3.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Which region should I try next? Let me know in the comments and see you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Sinis Schlieren. We are here. Let's go. Let's head straight into the completely filled kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Sinis in Schlieren. If you want to support me for my honest reviews, please follow my channels. This helps the most. To be honest, they really put in the effort and they have a great location. Unfortunately, effort doesn't give the desired outcome. I had the lamb kebab with grilled vegetables and unfortunately the lamb just gets grilled on the stove. It's hard, it's dry and not enjoyable. Way too much sauce in the whole kebab and the bread is from the factory. I also tried their minced chicken meat. No flavor at all, just the spices in the meat. I can only give this kebab a 4 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. The top 3 kebabs are pinked. Check out the videos. Let me know your favorite kebab in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Zuri Bistro. We are here. Let's go in. They have a nice branding from the outside with this nice logo. 
and they even have their gerät. Vegetables look good and fresh. Let's taste the meat. And now the whole thing. Zuri Bistro. Really nice location, nice branding, fresh vegetables, but unfortunately minced meat didn't have a lot of taste and also the bread too hard not really good only a four out of ten but you know what a sub to the channel would be captastic we are searching for the best kebab in switzerland many of you guys said eat club Cham. we are here let's go this is it club Cham in the center of Cham. this is it from the inside nice seating booths fresh vegetables here is the meat skewer here the whole kebab bread test meat test and now the whole thing eat club ham they have actually a very good balance between sauce meat and vegetables i really like that but everything else is pretty standard standard meat from the factory pretty dry at the end not a lot of taste also the sauces nothing special and the bread was extremely soft nothing crispy at all all in all this is a below average kebab in my opinion i would give this one a four out of ten you can see here the top 10 ranking list don't forget to check out these videos and let me know in the comments which kebab should i go next see you guys on the next one this is the most recommended kebab from Brasel. we are at kusne sorry for pronunciation let's get inside the restaurant has a good location with a lot of traffic very nice counter design i love the supplements clean interior here is the kebab. Let's taste the meat and the whole thing. Kusne kebab. The bread is homemade. Unfortunately, that's already it. It's the standard pressed meat, which has no taste. And the most problem was, if you have that dry meat, you have to put first sauce in the bread and then the meat so the bread can be juicy. But in this case, he put in the dry meat first and the last bites were so dry, I almost couldn't eat it. I would only give it a five out of 10. On my way home, I had time to think about this kebab. It's only a 4.1 out of 10. Back to the video. Here you can see the whole leaderboard. Check out our other videos. Do you think you know a better kebab than this? Let us know in the comments. Because we are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. So many of you said Wabi's kebab, which is funny because it's just around my corner and I've never been there. Did I really miss the best kebab in Switzerland? Let's check it out. Here is this thing already smells exactly the same like all the other kebabs I already tried with this standard meat, the standard bread, which they all buy at Royal Kebab. But let's see, meat check. This meat is actually a little more salty than the others. I like it a little bit better, but it's still the standard meat. Let's have a bite. Also, the bread, not toasted enough, not homemade. Not good bread. The yogurt sauce is actually a little bit more decent than on the other kebabs. That's quite good. All in all, I would say a 4.2. Let me know your favorite kebab, but please with homemade bread and homemade meat. That would be awesome. See you guys. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you said Ecke Kebab in Zug. We are here. Let's go in. Ecke Kebab is located in Zug city. It looks like every other standard kebab place in Switzerland. It's nice and clean. Here we can see the meat screwer. Complimentary chili on the table. And here is the kebab. Meat taste test. Ecke kebab. A lot of you recommended it. It has a very good yogurt sauce, but that's already it. Nothing special. Standard processed meat, standard processed bread. And the meat to salad ratio is way off. I mean, look at this. I would only give it a 4.3 out of 10. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this because we are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Liberty Steinhausen. We are here. Let's go. Liberty is located at the train station. This is how it looks from the inside. Here is the kebab, meat test, and the whole thing. Liberty Steinhausen. Well, the guy asked me if the kebab was good, and I was honest with him. I told him, nothing special, right? And he said, yeah, I know. And that's all I can say. Nothing special. The kebab was $13, quite expensive in my opinion, but it was very good filled with meat. Unfortunately, the meat is the standard processed meat, Hockfleisch. And if you have to compensate your meat taste with that much sauce, that's not a good sign. All in all, I give this kebab a 4.7. This is the whole top 10 list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebab spot. I will try every single kebab and see you guys on the next one.
We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. These guys insisted to go to Pizza Perfect in Menzingen. We are here, let's go. This is Pizza Perfect from the outside. Inside looks pretty standard. Here are the fresh veggies, the meat, and here is the kebab. Meat test. And this kebab had corn inside. Pizza Perfect in Menzingen. I really appreciate the comment guys, but this was pretty standard. The bread was surprisingly good. It wasn't freshly baked or anything. It was just super crispy and good in the inside. Standard processed meat, no flavor. There was corn in the kebab, which was new to me. All in all, standard kebab, pretty normal in my opinion. I would give this one a 4.8 out of 10. Here is the current ranking list. If you know a good kebab, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out the other videos. I already tried a lot of kebabs and see you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and these two guys have been asking for Ruopingen for a very long time. We are finally here, let's go. This is Ruopingen from the outside near Lucerne. Here is the whole kebab, decently filled, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Ruopingen kebab near Lucerne. Very nice people, but the kebab, let's be honest guys, the most flavor of this kebab came from the onions, everything else completely standard. Standard factory meat, standard factory bread, and the sauces also not very special. There's not much to say about this kebab, I give it a 5 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list, don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebabs. Don't forget to follow, this helps me a lot. And see you guys next time, we love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Choban Amriswil. Before we start, make sure to follow this channel and let me know in the comments your favorite kebab. Let's go. Choban is located next to the train station. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Choban in Amrisville. 7 francs for a small kebab is a fair price for a fair kebab. Not a really special kebab, standard factory meat, standard vegetables, okay, homemade sauces, but not really that special. And the bread was a little bit too hard in my opinion, so yeah. I would say pretty average kebab, I would give this one a 5 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list, don't forget to check out these videos. We love food, yummy! We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and I know this kebab, I've been here 10 years ago but you guys said they have a new owner. But before we go into this restaurant, follow this channel, it helps me a lot and it's free for you. So let's go and see how it is. This is the restaurant from the outside, inside pretty standard, the homemade chicken meat, here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Conclusion time for this kebab. They have homemade chicken meat. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too salty. Also, the bread is freshly baked. So the bread is quite okay, but still not there where it should be. All in all, this was a very strange kebab for me because a lot of it felt homemade, but at the end, it didn't really taste that homemade. That's why I give this kebab a 5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. And of course, I'm talking about Fast Fox in Cham. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments and see you guys next time. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Mirosh in Rokreutz. We are here. Let's go. This is Miros from the outside, it's near the train station. Here is the meat skewer, unfortunately it's cut by machine. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Miros Rockreutz. They actually have a really nice cocktail sauce and the yogurt sauce has a bitter aftertaste from the herbs, which I personally didn't like so much. Unfortunately, standard minced meat from the factory, nothing special. And also the bread, too fluffy in my opinion, not crispy enough. In my opinion, this is a standard kebab, nothing special about. I would give it a 5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. See you guys next time. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you are asking why I'm speaking English with my Swiss accent. It's pretty simple. We are searching for the best kebab in whole Switzerland, including the Romondi and Ticino. And trust me, you don't want to hear my French. Anyway, some of you said Pizza Kebab House in Bar. Let's go. This kebab shop looks like every other in Switzerland. There is the meat screwer. Here is the whole thing. This is how it looks inside. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Pizza Kebab House Bar. For a long time, this was my go-to kebab. It's pretty decent, but everything is standard. Standard meat, standard bread, nothing special. You know the drill. Keep it simple. I give it 5 points out of 10. This is the current ranking list. 
If you know good homemade special kebabs, let me know in the comments. I'm coming soon to Biel and Fribourg. See you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. So many of you commented Freeman's in Rüti. We are here. Let's go in. Freeman's Rüti is located directly at the train station. It's a big shop and everything looks fresh. They even have two meat screwers. And here is the kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. And I don't know what this is. So about Freeman's Rüti. I was super hyped. So many of you commented on this. But guys, this was really standard kebab. Processed meat from the factory. Processed bread from the factory. Really nothing special. It has a nice location. Branding is good as well. They have really good sauces. But that's about it. I can only give this kebab a 5 out of 10. Unfortunately, not better. I was super pumped, but I was disappointed. Here you can see the current ranking list. Don't forget to follow this channel and join me on my search for the best kebab in Switzerland. See you guys next time. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Mado Schuster. We are here. Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the outside. Inside it looks pretty clean and good. Here is the meat skewer. The fresh veggies. And here is the meat kebab. Meat test and the whole thing. Madosh Uster. In this video I had the meat kebab. The bread was very crispy, very good. Also fresh veggies. Unfortunately, that's already it. The meat is standard processed meat, no flavor at all. And the kebab was overfilled with sauce. I give this kebab a 5 out of 10. Here is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. In the next video, I'm trying the planted kebab, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, let me know your favorite kebab in the comments, because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. So many of you said tasty in Schaffhausen. I'm excited. We are here. Let's go. We head right into the kebab. Here is the thing. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Tasty in Schaffhausen. Thank you guys for the recommendations. I have to say the sauces were absolutely amazing. Perfectly good sauces, a little bit spicy, just delicious. But unfortunately, that's already it for this kebab. You can choose between veal and chicken meat, both from the factory. The chicken meat is sliced, obviously. It had a strange flavor. You could really tell it was frozen before. Also the bread, it's way too fluffy, not crispy at all. Usually I would give this kebab below average rating, but since the sauces were so good, I give it a five out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next and see you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and you said guys in Mettmannstetten. Let's go. Let's head straight into the kebab. Here it is. Bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Kais in Medmenstetten. The meat is from the factory. I asked them where the meat is from. They said from the factory, but they make their own recipe. Unfortunately, I didn't taste anything of that. It tasted completely standard like everything else. The bread is as well from the factory, although it's a little bit different than usual. Better toasted and it had a wheaty flavor. Sauce is pretty standard as well. And all in all, a pretty standard kebab. I would give this one a 5.1 out of 10 because of the teeny tiny better bread. Don't forget on Instagram to see live where I'm at. Let me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and you recommended Memos in Schlieren. We are here. Let's go. Already from the outside you can see the meat is from the factory. Here is Val. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Mimos in Schlieren. In my opinion, it's just sad that people are thinking this is the best kebab. Everything pretty standard, everything from the factory, except maybe the sauces, but nothing special. And the best part about this kebab was the bread. It was really good toasted and it had some roasted flavors on the outside. I will give this kebab a 5.4 out of 10. Keep recommending your favorite kebabs in the comments. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys recommended Ronny, who just opened in Cham. We are here. Let's go. Ronny is in this little shed in Cham. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Ronny in Cham. You saw the pictures. This kebab 
is pretty standard. Meat from Royal Döner. I actually just saw the delivery of it. They brought in the frozen meat bread as well from the factory. The best part about this kebab was the homemade cocktail sauce, which had a little spice, sourness and tanginess to it. But that's already it. I would give this kebab a 5.4 out of 10. If you want to see live where I am, head over to Instagram and follow there. I always post stories where I'm live. Let me know in the comments which kebab you should try next. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and you guys recommend the gourmet kebab in Zur. Is it really that gourmet? Let's find out. Let's head straight to the kebab. Here is it. Bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Gourmet kebab in Zur. I think this was the most filled kebab for the price I ever had. I mean, look at that. When I saw the homemade bread, I was already happy. But unfortunately, it's not freshly baked and it falls apart. Also, the meat, unfortunately, from the factory, doesn't really has a meat flavor. All in all, a pretty standard kebab, in my opinion. I will give this one a 5.5 out of 10. To see all my rated kebabs, click the link in the bio. Let me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. Don't forget to follow, because it helps me a lot. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and many of you guys recommend the Chico's in Oberwinter Tour. Let's go. This is Chico's from the outside. Here's the good filled kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Chico's in Winterthur. The best thing about this kebab was the homemade spicy sauce and everything else is as standard as it gets. The veal meat is from the factory. You only taste the spices, standard vegetables, no special flavor and also the cocktail and yogurt sauce were pretty mild and didn't have a lot of own taste. Also the layering of this kebab completely off. Please put the sauce first on the bread, especially if you only have the factory bread which is pretty dry. I mean look at that. Average kebab, I give this one a 5.5 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Check out all these videos and we're soon reaching 100 kebabs within one year. So please let me know the best kebabs I haven't tried yet in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and many of you guys said Palo Grill in Buchs. I drove all the way to Rheintal. We are here. Let's go. This is Palo Grill from the outside with the huge sign. Here is the kebab with sauce splattered all over it. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Palo Grill in Buchs. They have excellent homemade bread with nice seeds on top of it. But that's about it for this kebab. I absolutely hate it when they put so much sauce on the kebab and not on the bread that you almost can't eat at the beginning and at the end it's dry. Also the meat, standard factory meat, sauces don't add any value to the kebab. They're more annoying than anything. I understand the ingredients, but how to layer a kebab is also very important. I would say this is a below average kebab, but because of the homemade bread, I give it some extra points. I give this one a 5.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite kebab and let me know why. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and we are back in winter tour. You guys said Jimmy's. We are here. Let's go. If you want to see live where I am at the moment, head over to Instagram and follow there. Link in bio. This is Jimmy's from the outside in winter tour. This is a stylish location inside. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Jimmy's Winter Tour. Absolutely lovely people. Also location, very beautiful, stylish and fresh. To the kebab, the bread is actually pretty good. Crispy from the outside, soft on the inside. They had, in my opinion, very good sauces. And also the vegetables were fresh. Unfortunately, the meat is minced meat, but they have it from a small supplier, Aslan, and you could taste the difference between this factory meat and other factory meats. This one was definitely better. I'll give it a 6.3 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the kebabs which comment I should try next. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Smiles Sirnach. We are here. Let's go. This is Smiles from the outside. This is the beautiful inside with the nice booths and with the amazing walls. Here are the veggies. Here are the meat skewers. Here is the kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Smiles in Sirnach. 
absolutely lovely location, the best so far with real booths where you can sit. Let's get to the kebab though, unfortunately they also buy their meat from the fabric, but it's a different fabric than usual, it's gurbet fabric. The meat is tiny little bit better, but still minced meat. Also the bread, just standard bread, not homemade, and also the veggies, pretty normal. In my opinion, a pretty normal kebab with a very nice location. I will give this one a 5.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know which kebab should I try next and see you guys on the next one. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Little Istanbul Lucerne. We are here. Let's go. This is Little Istanbul from the outside at the train station. Here is the meat skewer. Here are the fresh veggies. The whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Little Istanbul, Lucerne. Pretty good location, also very nice design. The kebab meat, unfortunately standard fabric meat. You guys said it's something special, but I don't know what I did wrong. I just got the standard meat. Nice, decent bread, very fresh veggies. I like them. And also the sauces were pretty decent. Overall, an average kebab. I would give this one a 5.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know your favorite kebab in the comments because we are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Kebab Man Emmen. We are here. Let's go. Kebab Man Emmen is located in the industry area. The meat comes out of the heated meat drawer. The veggies look fresh and clean. And here is the meat. Here the whole kebab. I don't know about this bread. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Kebab Man Emmen. I'm really sorry guys, but this was nothing. The bread is very spongy, the meat is minced standard meat, the veggies are fresh, the yogurt sauce is actually pretty good, it has a nice spice in it, but all in all, this kebab was just okay-ish. I would give this one a 5.5 out of 10. Here is the current ranking list. Let me know your favorite kebab spot in the comments. See you guys next time. We are searching the best Switzerland in kebab. You guys said Mother Schuster. We are here. Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the outside. Inside it looks pretty clean and good. Here are the fresh veggies. Here is the planted kebab. Also with the planted branding. Planted chicken test. And the whole thing. Madash Uster planted kebab. Also here, the bread was very good. The planted chicken has an oriental spice in it. But apart from this, the planted chicken has no flavor at all. And the kebab as well was overfilled with sauce. This kebab was more fresh than the meat kebab. This kebab was a little bit better than the meat one. I would give this one a 5.5 out of 10. Here is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know your favorite kebab spot in the comments because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and we are in Lugano because many of you guys recommended Ararat. I hope it will be good. Don't forget to follow. Let's go. Ararat is the small little container in Lugano. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Ararat in Lugano. Okay, guys, let's be real. This shows again that you guys need to try more kebabs around your area. I'm absolutely disappointed. Driving three hours for this kebab and it's standard chicken meat from the factory. Yes, it's sliced, but it almost had no flavor at all. The bread is completely standard, very dry, and they don't even put sauce on the bread, so it soaks up a little bit. Also, the sauce is just average and no special vegetables. This is a completely average kebab. I will give this one a 5.5 out of 10 this is my current top 10 ranking list and please let me know in the comments which kebab i should try next and why this is it from lugano and if you want to see my whole lugano vlog head over to youtube link in bio full vlog right there we love food yummy we are searching for the best kebab in switzerland and apparently this one has homemade meat you recommended kurgastli würdelingen we are here let's go this is cool ghastly from the outside at the moment in renovation here is the whole kebab in a really nice package they even have their own wrapper here is the kebab unwrapped bread test meat test and now the whole thing 
Kugastli Würdelingen. This is a perfect example when homemade is not always better. First to the bread, it looks absolutely amazing and it tastes definitely better than factory bread, but in the middle it was a little bit hollow and didn't have that much taste to it. Way too much sauce in the kebab, like most of the places. A lot of onions in the kebab, but they didn't have any taste. And now to the homemade meat. I really didn't taste any homemade flavor. Actually, I didn't taste any flavor at all. And also it was a little bit chewy. All in all, and I'm really sorry about that, I can only give this kebab a 5.7 out of 10. Let me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. Maybe next time I'm visiting your favorite place. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and you have been asking for this for over a year. Rusli in Rusikon. Let's go. Rusli is the small little takeaway in the small village of Rusikon. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Rusli in Rusikon. Honestly, better than I expected. This small village has a kebab who makes their own bread. It was crispy and good enough, but it could be a little bit more doughy. And the whole kebab was huge, filled to the brim. Unfortunately, that's already it for this kebab. The meat is factory meat. You see it right here, completely standard and not very much meat flavor. And the main problem about this kebab was the sauce. He put so much sauce in the whole kebab that everything fell apart. And at the end, I even had to eat the kebab with fork and knife. And in my opinion, this is a skill too, to layer and fill the kebab good enough so you can eat it the right way. Only because of the bread, I will give this kebab a 5.8 out of 10. And next week, I'm uploading kebab number 100. Follow so you don't miss this one. Keep letting me know your favorite kebabs. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys asked for it and we are finally in tune. Seventh kebab, let's see how it is. Let's go. Seventh kebab is located near the train station in Thun. Here is the whole kebab, completely filled, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. And of course, I always finish up. Seventh kebab in Thun. The bread is homemade and I'm pretty sure it would be good if it was freshly baked. Unfortunately, like this, out of the bag, it's pretty stale. The meat is sliced chicken meat, but the meat skewer is from the factory. It has quite a salty and good taste. Vegetables and salad, pretty standard. And the layering of this kebab, unfortunately, completely off. Put the sauce first on the bread, then put in the meat and vegetables. I will give this one a 5.9 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos and let me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and many of you guys said food star in Zug and this is actually my last kebab in the city of Zug. And I would say this deserves a follow. Thank you very much. Now let's see how it is. Let's go. This is food star in Zug located near the new city. Here is the kebab, extremely good filled, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Food star in Zug. The good things first, freshly baked homemade bread and excellent yogurt sauce. Now to the bad part, the meat from the factory had no flavor at all and the cocktail sauce as well didn't have a lot of taste. Quite a standard kebab, except from the freshly baked bread. I will give this one a 5.8 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Check out all these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. I will not stop until I tried every recommended kebab. This is it. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and many of you said Kebabberg in Spreitebach. We are finally here. Don't forget to subscribe if you like food. Let's go. This is Kebabberg in the shopping mall Tivoli. There are the meat skewers. They have a lot of spices and fresh vegetables. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Kebabwerk in Spreitenbach. It was actually surprisingly good. Quite fresh vegetables. I really like them. The bread was decent enough, quite soft, and everything is well prepared. The chicken meat didn't have really special flavor, just plain and quite bland chicken meat, but overall an average to decent kebab. I will give this one a 5.8 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Don't forget to write your favorite kebab in the comments. See you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. We are in Bern. You guys said boomerangs. We are here. Let's go. Boomerangs is located in the old town of Bern. Here is it from the inside. Here are the fresh veggies. Here is the meat. The whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. 
Boomerangs in Bern. This was a very strange kebab to me. The bread is homemade, unfortunately not freshly baked, and it was a little bit cold. The sauces were actually really good. I love the yogurt sauce and I love the cocktail sauce. The meat is not minced meat, but it's also not sliced meat. It's something in between, but overall the meat didn't have a lot of taste, unfortunately. This is a medium kebab. I would give it a 5.8 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next and see you guys on the next one. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said kebab up in Hochdorf, also known as Angis. We are here, let's go. This is Angis from the outside with the nice branding. This is it inside. The fresh veggies, the meat skewer. Here is the whole kebab, meat test. And now the whole thing. Cap up Hochdorf. The location is very nice, also very nice branding from the outside. There are a lot of vegetables in the kebab. The cucumber was, in my opinion, a little bit too much. It overtook the whole flavor. And if the cucumber overtooks the whole flavor, the meat can't be good. It's standard processed fabric meat. The sauces were quite good. I actually tasted the cocktail sauce for once. I liked it. A decent kebab, but nothing special. 5.8 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know your favorite kebab spot in the comments because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. And I've been to this kebab 15 years ago and I had a one kilogram kebab. Do they still have this big kebab? Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the outside near the train station. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. So this kebab shop in Lenzburg. I have to say they make the bread homemade, really good, crispy, sesame seeds on top, actually pretty good. The kebab was very big. Unfortunately, I cannot rate the size. I rate the quality. The meat is standard minced processed meat from the factory. It hadn't had a lot of taste. The sauces were okay-ish, I would say. Because of the bread, it's a little bit above a standard kebab. I would give it a 5.8 out of 10. I'm talking about Kebab House in Lenzburg. Here is the top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. If you like my kebab reviews, make sure to follow my channel. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Some of you recommended Alibaba and Schlieren. We are here. Let's go. This is Alibaba from the outside, right next to the train station. As you can see here, the meat is from Birlik factory. Here is the whole kebab. I took the whole menu with fries and drinks. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Alibaba in Schlieren. As expected, this was a pretty average kebab. Although the bread is homemade, it could be way more crispier. It was very soft. The meat is sliced chicken meat, at least that, but it's from the factory, so not that much of a flavor. A pretty average to decent kebab. I will give this one a 5.8. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. And if you want to see long form videos, head over to YouTube. Link is in the bio. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. And some of you recommended kebab Hüsli in Schwyz. We are here. Let's go. Kebab Hüsli is located in the old town of Schwyz. Here is the whole kebab. Maybe you spot the problem. Bread test, meat test. And now the whole thing. Kebab Hüsli in Schwyz. They state they make all homemade sauces and the sauces are actually very good. Unfortunately, everything else is pretty standard. Meat from the factory Birlik, which is another huge factory who delivers a lot of meat all over Switzerland. And the meat is just tasteless and the only flavor comes from the spices. Also the bread, fresh from the factory and just pretty average. Because of the sauces, I would give this one a 5.8 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. We soon reach 100 kebabs, so let me know your favorite kebab spots in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you guys said Zero Deux in Folketswil. We are here. Let's go. Zero Deux is located in Folketswil village. The shop is well designed, but quite small. Here are the fresh veggies and the kebabs to go. Here is the meat pack. The whole kebab, meat test, and now the whole thing. Zero de. The bread was actually pretty decent, the sauces were quite good, but the meat, unfortunately, minced, pressed, standard meat, nothing special. The meat almost had no taste at all, and that's why, unfortunately, I can give this turner only a 5.9. 
out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebab spot. Maybe next time I visit your place. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. I'm in Basel. You guys said kebab factory. Let's go. This is kebab factory from the outside. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. Another meat test. And now the whole thing. Kebab factory in Basel. The meat is from Olivia factory. No flavor at all. A lot of fresh vegetables. I really like that. The sauce is pretty standard. The bread is from the factory, but really good toasted. All in all, a pretty standard kebab. A little bit above that. I will give this one a 6 out of 10. If you want to see the whole ranking list with every kebab I ever tried, check the link in the bio. There is the complete rating table. Also with burgers and other restaurants. And if you want to see long videos, head over to YouTube and check that out. Thank you guys for your support, for following. See you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. I'm at Baden train station and you recommended Bal's takeaway. Let's go. Bal's is located near the train station in Baden. Here is the mini kebab bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Bals in Baden. The guy who made my kebab recognized me. Cheers to you, bro. And I probably got a little bit more meat than average because the value for the price of the mini kebab is really good. But I don't rate the price. The kebab was pretty standard. The meat is definitely from the factory, although it was very good grilled and has a nice juicy flavor to it. I'm not even sure if the bread is homemade or from the factory, but it's definitely pre-baked and the problem with that is it falls apart when you heat it up again. Really nice fresh sauces which got a good sourness and sweetness to it and all in all a pretty decent standard kebab. I will give this one a 6 out of 10. Keep letting me know your favorite kebabs, I'm not stopping. Don't forget to follow my Instagram account if you want to see live where I am. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and we are back in the Romandie. We are in yverdon le bain You guys said L'Olivier. Follow this channel for your favorite food content. Let's go. Let's head straight into the kebab. Here is this beautiful thing. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Unfortunately, the layering was completely off with the dry bread. L'Olivier in yverdon le bain They have two different meats, one lamb and one wheel meat. Both seem to be from the factory. I took the lamb meat and unfortunately it didn't have any lamb flavor at all. I just tasted the spices. There are a lot of vegetables in the kebab and he heats up the bread in the oven. Even though it's pre-baked, it's pretty good bread. The sauces are decent. It's a decent kebab, but unfortunately I can only give this kebab a 6 out of 10 because of the flavorless meat. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know your favorite kebab spots in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and many of you guys said Kebab House Herisau. We are finally here. Let's go. This is Kebab House Herisau from the outside. They even have their own iced tea. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Kebab House in Herisau. Thank you guys for the recommendation. It was also very nice to meet some of you at the Kebab House. The Kebab itself, they have homemade sauces, very famous for that. Homemade bread, freshly baked. But unfortunately, the biggest problem with this Kebab is the meat and the factory meat. And this makes the whole Kebab bad. I rather have homemade meat than homemade sauces because if the meat is good, you don't need any sauces. That's why I can only give this Kebab a 6 out of 10, if they had homemade meat, this would be a whole other story. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebab. We love food yummy. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you guys said Ildrims Langenthal. They even won Radio Ban Today Award. Before we go in, make sure to follow this channel for more food content. Let's go. This is Ildrims Langenthal in the city center. Here is the whole kebab with the special bread. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Ildrims Langenthal. The bread is actually pretty good, fluffy. I also really like the sour yogurt sauce. Unfortunately, the meat is from the factory. And something I can't mention enough is the layering of this kebab. Sauce belongs on the bread and not splattered all over the kebab. That's why I give this kebab a 6 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Write your favorite kebab in the comments. I'm not done yet. See you next time. We love food yummy.
We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said multi pizza kebab in Moody. We are here. And to be honest with you guys, I could ride this kebab without even going. Because I grew up in this town and I had this kebab more than 100 times. But I give every kebab a fair chance and I'm rating what I'm getting at this day. Let's go. This is the kebab shop from the inside. I have a lot of seating space, even upstairs. Here is the kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Multi pizza courier kebab in Muri Argau. I can admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. They changed a lot. They have now new homemade bread, which is excellent. I absolutely loved it. The sauces are good. Unfortunately, the meat didn't improve. Still standard processed factory meat. That's why I only can give this kebab a 6 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. See you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. So many of you commented Memos in Altstetten. We are here. Let's go. Memos is located at Lindenplatz in Altstetten. There is the meat pike. Here is the kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. So, Memos. Everybody who recommended Memos, please let me know in the comments why this is your favorite kebab. To me, the bread was pretty good, homemade, unfortunately not fresh baked. The sauces also homemade and pretty good yogurt sauce. Unfortunately, the meat, standard processed minced meat and the vegetables also pretty normal. All in all, normal, good kebab. I would give this one a 6 out of 10. Pretty normal kebab, nothing out of the ordinary. This is the current top 10 ranking list. If you know an extraordinary kebab, let me know in the comments. I will try every single one of them because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Leila St. Gallen. We are here. Let's go. This is Leila St. Gallen from the outside. Here are the extra sauces. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Leila St. Gallen, very friendly owners, and I think this is why many of you recommended this kebab. Because the kebab itself is pretty average, but they have amazing cocktail sauce, which they give extra on the table. Good decision from them, and this rates the whole kebab a little bit higher. The meat is from Royal Dünner, as you can see here, and also the bread is not freshly baked. All in all, pretty decent, a little bit above average. I would rate this one a 6.2 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out all these videos. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Ispelir in Basel. We are here. Let's go. Ispelir is located near Messeplatz. This is how the kebab looks like. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Ispilir Basel. As almost everyone, processed meat from the factory, no special sauce, but the bread was homemade and really, really good. I'll give this kebab a 6.2. This is the current ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. What's your favorite kebab spot in Switzerland? Let me know in the kebab. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. We are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Chaglis in Udorf. We are here. Let's go in. Chaglis has a very nice location. I had to order at the computer, which was bugged. The restaurant is big and clean. Unfortunately, no fresh meat. And here is the kebab. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. I like the wet napkins. Chaglis Urdorf. The meat is a little bit more flavorful because it's a little bit more fatty. Unfortunately, there's no fresh meat screwer. But 40 cents for extra beetroot and 40 cents for extra carrots is a little bit much in my opinion. I think veggies should be free. The bread is okay-ish. I think all in all, it's an okay-ish kebab. I would give this one a 6.2 out of 10. And here is the whole ranking list. If you know a good kebab, let me know in the comments. And maybe next time I visit your favorite kebab spot. We are still searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. We are in Arau. The most recommended one is Brotkorb. Let's go. Brotkorb is located in the old town. They have a lot of sauces. And here is the kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. The bread is homemade and very crispy. Brotkorb Arau. As the name is suggesting, they make their own bread, which is really good. It's not coming fresh out of the oven, but it's still better than nothing. The meat, you know the drill, it's not homemade. What I actually absolutely loved about Brokorp Arau 
is their homemade sauce and their choices of sauces. A lot of choices and I took their spicy house sauce and I think this was one of the best sauces I ever had in a kebab. All in all, it was a pretty decent kebab, I would say a good, so a 6.2. Here is the current ranking list. Don't forget to check out the videos about these kebabs. Don't forget to leave your favorite kebab spot in the comments because we are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Alibaba Litau. We are here, let's go. Alibaba Litau is located outside of Luzern. The shop is quite big and clean. Here is the meat, here are the fresh veggies, and here is the whole thing. Meat test. And now the whole kebab. Alibaba Litau. A very fresh kebab, fresh vegetables, and I absolutely love the red cabbage. The bread was also pretty decent, crispy on the outside, and unfortunately, the meat wasn't homemade. Minced standard fabric meat. All in all, I would say this is a good standard kebab. I would give this one a 6.2 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Send this video to a friend who needs to buy you a kebab. See you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and we are back in Winterthur. You guys said Jimmy's, we are here, let's go. If you want to see live where I am at the moment, head over to Instagram and follow there, link in bio. This is Jimmy's from the outside in Winterthur. This is a stylish location inside. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Jimmy's Winter Tour. Absolutely lovely people. Also location, very beautiful, stylish and fresh. To the kebab, the bread is actually pretty good. Crispy from the outside, soft on the inside. They had, in my opinion, very good sauces. And also the vegetables were fresh. Unfortunately, the meat is minced meat, but they have it from a small supplier, Aslan, and you could taste the difference between this factory meat and other factory meats. This one was definitely better. I'll give it a 6.3 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the kebabs which comment I should try next. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said culinar clients. We are here, let's go. This is outside. This is it from the inside, the meat skewer, the fresh veggies, here is the kebab, meat test, and now the whole thing. Kulinar Kriens. Thank you guys for the recommendation. They make the bread fresh, the sauces are also pretty good, unfortunately minced meat. Didn't have a lot of taste and that unfortunately makes the kebab not as good as it could be. I would give this one a 6.3 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Let me know your favorite kebab spot in the comments and see you guys next time. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland and I'm back in the city where my number one comes from. Fribourg. And you guys said there is another very good kebab, Snack Berfin. Let's see how it is. Don't forget to follow. Let's go. This is Snack Berfin from the outside with nice chairs. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Snack Berfin in Fribourg. How can you say this is a good kebab when you have literally the best kebab in your city? Don't get me wrong. It's a good kebab. The bread is homemade, freshly baked. Also, the sauces are excellent, but the meat, the meat makes such a difference. This is factory meat. You guys know me. I prefer homemade sliced meat. All in all, a decent kebab. I will give it a 6.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos and let me know all your favorite kebab in the comments. Maybe next time I try your favorite spot. We love food, yummy. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland and this week we're going full kebab. Every day a new kebab video, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't miss any kebabs. You guys said Fulmine Rot, we are here, let's go. This is Fulmine restaurant, very nice and family friendly. Here are the veggies, here is the meat skewer, here the whole kebab, meat test, bread check, and now the whole thing. Fulmine Rot. The meat was actually sliced meat, 
but I think they buy it from a supplier as well because it didn't taste homemade. It didn't have a lot of flavor, but it was quite fatty and good crispy. The bread was very long in the oven. I like that. It was crispy and good. Unfortunately, not homemade bread. The sauces, especially the yogurt sauce, has a nice spice in it, which I really liked. The cocktail sauce, nothing to mention about. I think this was a very decent kebab and I would go with a 6.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments because we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you said Oriental Gosau. We are here. Let's go. This is Oriental Gosau from the outside. Here is the meat skewer. Here is the whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Oriental Gosau. A lot of people work there and it's extremely fast until you get your kebab. The kebab itself, unfortunately, it's pressed minced meat. The bread is also just heated up, but I think it's homemade. They have extremely good sauces, also very fresh veggies. I would say this is a decent standard kebab. I would give this one a 6.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Check out these videos. Which kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments and see you guys on the next one. One of the stabilest kebabs for me schon seit Jahren ist der Istanbul Kebab. Okay, Noah, let's try this kebab. We are in Rapperswil, Istanbul Kebab, let's go. Istanbul Kebab is located in the old city of Rapperswil. The veggies look fresh and the bread is freshly baked. There is the meat screwer and here is the kebab. Let's try this thing. The bread is amazing and super crispy. Istanbul kebab in Rapperswil. Noah, I have to say, your cooking skills go mio and in Magdalena are on point, but kebab, I'm not so sure about this. This kebab was pretty decent, freshly baked bread, nice chicken meat. Unfortunately, the chicken was reheated, so it wasn't that fresh anymore. Good sauce, good veggies. I would say a decent kebab, but it was a little bit on the smaller side. I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. Here you can see the current ranking list. If you guys know a good kebab, let me know in the comments. See you guys next time. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Dönerstop in Oftringen. We are here. Let's go. This is Dönerstop from the outside next to McDonald's. Inside beautiful decoration. Here are the two meat skewers. Fresh vegetables. Here is the whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Dönerstop. The meat is mixed chicken and veal meat. It's sliced meat, so it's actually pretty good. It's fatty, juicy and has a lot of flavors. The bread, unfortunately, isn't freshly baked, but seems to be homemade. But it could be crispier and it could have way more flavor. There are a lot of vegetables for choice. I took all of them and all are fresh and good. Also, the sauces are quite good. I would say this is a good kebab. Nothing real special, but good enough. I will give this one a 6.5 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. What kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments and see you guys on the next one. Another day, another kebab review. This time, Sofra Ham. Some of you recommended it. Let's see how it is. Here is this beauty. Looks good. Little pieces of meat. Let's try it. Mm. Well cut, big pieces. I actually like the meat, I like the flavor. Let's try the whole thing. Really good flavored yogurt sauce. As you can see, they have some herbs in it. It gives a nice little fresh taste to the kebab. The bread could be a little bit on the crispier side, but all in all, this is a decent kebab from Zug. So far, the best one. Check out our other videos where we try all the kebabs from Zug. I will give this kebab a 6.8 out of 10. Pretty good kebab, can recommend. See you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. The most recommended one in central Switzerland was Dogans. We are here, let's go. Dogans Luzerne has a very good looking location. They just rebuilt it and it looks amazing. Here we can see the meat. There are a lot of choices for your kebab for fresh veggies. The bread is heated up on the stove. And here is this thing. The bread has some sesame seeds on it. Meat test. And now the whole thing. And the cross section. Dogans Luzerne. What an absolutely beautiful kebab. The yogurt sauce was the best I ever had. The bread was pretty good as well. The sesame seeds on top of it gave a nice flavor. Unfortunately, the meat is standard processed meat. 
all in all, very good standard kebab. I would give this one a 6.8 out of 10. If you think you know the best kebab in Switzerland, let me know in the comments. And next time, I'm trying your favorite spot. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. And you guys said another Memos. This time in Einsiedeln. We are here. Let's go. This is Memos from the outside, right next to the train station. This is inside. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Memos in Einzelsen. This one actually surprised me. The bread is homemade, crispy and soft in the inside. A lot of fresh vegetables and their sauces were absolutely amazing. The meat unfortunately is minced meat from the factory, but still crispy and actually had a lot of taste. This kebab was better than I thought. I will give this one a 6.8 out of 10. Just barely missed my top 10 ranking list. Check these videos right here. Thank you guys for the recommendation of this good kebab. Let me know which one I should try next in the comments. And see you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. And this is kebab number 50. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot. And you get your food content. We are finally in Bern. You guys said Venezia. Let's go. This is Venezia from the outside. It's located in Bümplitz. Here is the homemade meat. Here the whole kebab meat test and now the whole thing venezia in bern absolutely lovely people and the place was packed the meat is minced meat they buy it from a family supplier so it's better than regular meat and they also cut it by hand which makes a huge difference they make their own bread and bake it freshly could be a little bit more crispy for my taste to me, this is an above average kebab. I will give this one a 6.8 out of 10. Good start for Bern. Here you can see the top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know which kebab should I try next in the comments and see you guys next time. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. One of you said FM Soloton. I hope it will be good. Let's go. FM is located near the train station. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. FM Soloton. Surprisingly good. Homemade meat. That's already a good start. It's chicken and veal meat, but a little bit more chicken taste, decent sauces and very spicy onions. Unfortunately, the bread is not freshly baked and it could definitely need more spices on the kebab. And also a little bit too much vegetables in the kebab. All in all, quite good kebab. I will give this one a 6.9 out of 10. Here is my top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Don't forget to follow for more food content. And let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. See you guys. We love food yummy. We are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland. We are in Lankwart. These guys said Big Chef's Kebab. Let's see how it is. Big Chef's Kebab is located near the main station in Lankwart. The kebab shop looks clean and nice with fresh veggies. But there is no meat screwer. And here is the kebab. It looks very good and there is the freshly baked bread. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Big Chef's Kebab. What an amazing kebab this was. The meat is homemade. Unfortunately, it was reheated again. The bread is also homemade, very crispy on the outside, flat bread, absolutely amazing. And the best part was they have beetroot in the kebab, which gives a really nice flavor to it. This was a very, very good kebab. I give it a 6.9, just behind Mittendone kebab. Here is the whole ranking list. It ranks at fourth place, unexpected for Landquart. Thank you guys for the recommendation. Don't forget to follow this channel so we can find the best kebab in Switzerland. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland and the last time I was in this city I tried the most recommended kebab from you guys. Kuban, we are back in Biel and some of you said Adana is better. Let's go. Adana is located in the city center of Biel. Here is the whole kebab. It even comes with a fork and goat cheese, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Adana kebab in Biel. A lot was going on in this kebab. Cucumbers, pickles, olives, fries, like everything was happening and unfortunately all the ingredients take away the taste from the meat the bread was way too thin not crispy enough and all in all too much sauce too much going on in my opinion although the meat is sliced veal and chicken it didn't have that much taste a good kebab for its value but i can only give it a 6.9 out of 10. this is my current top 10 ranking list don't forget to check out these videos which kebab should i try next let me know in the comments don't forget to follow we love food yummy 
We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. And when I say Switzerland, I mean whole Switzerland. We are in Ticino and I think this itself deserves a follow. You guys said Billy Food in Lugano. We're here. Let's go. Billy Food has a lot of fresh vegetables. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test. And now, the whole thing. Billy food in Lugano. First when I came, I saw the Royal Döner sign and I was already scared. But lucky for me, they have their sliced chicken meat, which is in my opinion, the best meat from Royal Döner. Unfortunately still, it's from the factory and it's very mild, not heavy salted meat and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. But the bread, freshly made, out of the oven, this is king in this shop. The vegetables come with eggplant and pepper. I think stick to the traditional add-ons. All in all, a decent kebab. I will give this one a 7 out of 10. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos and let me know in the comments all your favorite kebab spots. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and we are finally here. The most recommended kebab, Kuban in Biel. And for this special occasion, I have some help. Maelo Romani. Before we go inside, make sure to follow this channel for more food content. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's, Let's go. go. This is Kuban from the outside at 11. Here is the meat, here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Kuban in Biel. Thank you guys for the recommendation. This kebab is indeed special. It has really nice herbs on the onions, a lot of fresh vegetables, absolutely perfect bread, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. But unfortunately, the main problem with this kebab is the meat. It's minced press meat. Kebab is absolutely filled to the brim and they put in really nice spices on the kebab, which makes the kebab actually better than an average kebab. I would give this kebab a 7 out of 10. Definitely a good kebab, but doesn't belong to the best in my opinion. This is the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to to check out these videos let me know in the comments which kebab i should try next we love food yummy we are searching for the best kebab in switzerland you guys said come to zurich we are in front of mit and ohne let's go inside the screwer is made out of chicken which is rare in switzerland and it seems to be sliced meat also the veggies look really fresh the highlight is the homemade warm bread the kebab looks really appealing let's try this thing About this kebab, homemade bread, fresh veggies, too fatty meat. I'll give it a 7. But you know what is a 10 out of 10? A sub. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Toros in Oerlikon makes their own meat. I'm here. Let's go. This is Toros in Oerlikon near the train station. Here is the meat skewer. Here the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Toros in Oerlikon. Yes, he makes homemade meat and it's pretty decent. It could have a little bit more flavor in my opinion. 100% veal. I think the bread is homemade as well, but it's definitely not freshly baked. And I think it was from yesterday because it was falling apart. And that's usually a sign it's a little bit older. The vegetables, very fresh. I love the onions. All in all, a very decent to good kebab. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Usually this one would make it in the top 10 ranking list, but the stakes are so high now and a 7 is not enough. These are my top 10 at the moment. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. I'm finally in Winterthur. You guys said Rosen, trust, I trust. Let's go. This is restaurant Rosen from the inside. Very big and a lot of seating. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Rosen Winter Tour. I trusted you guys and you didn't disappoint. Absolutely amazing bread, homemade, fluffy, doughy, that's how it should be. The sauces as well, sweet cocktail sauce, sour yogurt sauce, fit perfectly to the kebab. The only problem with this kebab was the meat, minced meat unfortunately, but it was a little bit more salty than usual, so actually not that bad. Overall, a pretty good kebab. I would give it a 7 out of 10. It goes in right here into the ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know which kebab I should try next. See you guys. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said the bab in Zurich. We are here. Let's go. This is the bab from the inside with a very beautiful modern location. Here is the kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. 
The pub in Zurich have excellent homemade minced meat. You can definitely taste the difference between this minced meat and other minced meat. Over 50% lamb, veal and beef in the kebab. Absolute tasty, fatty flavor. The bread is also pretty decent and overall a good quality kebab. Take this kebab without the sauces because they don't add any value to the kebab and you have more meat flavor. I would compare this kebab to Demet which also makes his homemade minced meat and I give this kebab a 7.2 out of 10. Good job, the Bob Zurich. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it to the top 10 anymore. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. Don't forget to follow. We love food. Yummy. We are looking for the best kebab in Switzerland and for this next one I'm super hyped. Ever since I heard about this one like five years ago I always wanted to go but I never had the chance to because they're only open on Friday and Saturday. Many of you commented on this. Go to Demet in Wollishoven. Let's go in. Demet is actually a butchery and there is the homemade meat. Everything is completely fresh. Look at this beautiful thing. Let's try the meat. And now the whole thing. Demet Metzgerei Wollishoven. What an absolute beautiful kebab spot. Lovely people, their homemade lamb meat skewer is fantastic. It's a little bit more on the chewy side and it's definitely very fatty meat. I rate it as a 7.2. Absolutely delicious kebab. Here you can see the current standing. Best kebab still, Butterfly Basel. This one goes on second place. If you think you know a better kebab than this, let me know in the comments. I will go and check it out. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. I am in Lausanne. You guys said Snack du Marche. We are here. Let's go. This is Snack du Marche from the outside. Here are the two meat skewers, chicken and beef. I already uploaded the beef kebab review yesterday. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Snack du Marche chicken kebab. They get their chicken from a supplier and they put in their own herbs and spices and you definitely can taste that. The chicken is soft, juicy and tender. All their sauces are homemade and they get their whole ingredients for the sauces out of the region. The bread is from a bakery. The only complaint I have is I would prefer it freshly baked. Unfortunately, the store is pretty small so they don't have space for an oven. All in all, the chicken kebab is really good. I will give this one a 7.2 out of 10. It goes in right here in the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. We love food. Yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. Some of you said Edis Gemüse Kebab is new in Zurich. We are here. Let's go. This is Edis Gemüse Kebab from the outside at Staufacher. A lot of fresh sauces and vegetables. Here is the meat skewer. Here the whole kebab. It looks very well layered. Bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Eddie's Music Kebab. Actually, surprisingly good to be honest. Good sliced chicken meat, fresh vegetables, and this time I had it with curry sauce, which fits very good to the kebab. The bread seems to be homemade, unfortunately not freshly baked. All in all, a very decent kebab. I would give it a 7.3 out of 10. This is my current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Also, don't forget to follow this channel for more food content. We love food, yummy. We are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Baba's Emmen Center. We are here. Let's go. Baba is located at the Emmen Center. This is the shop at 1120 filled with people. There are the two meat skewer, chicken and veal, all the fresh veggies topped up with lemon juice and the spices at the end. Here is the thing, meat test and now the whole thing. Babas in Emmen Center. What an excellent kebab. Really nice people. They definitely put in the effort. Fresh chicken meat, fresh veggies. A new one for me is cucumber in the kebab, but fits in perfectly. The kebab is topped up with fresh lime juice. I really love that. Fresh herbs. And in the end, they put in some extra spices that gives the whole kebab an oriental flavor. I loved it. 1350 is definitely on the more expensive side, but worth every cent. The bread could be a little bit more crispier and they way overdid it with sauce. All in all, very good kebab. I appreciate the effort. I give this one a 7.3 out of 10. It goes right in here in the ranking list. Very good job, Baba's Emmet Center. What's your favorite kebab? Let me know in the comments because we are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Kebab House Hank. We are here. Let's go. This is it from the outside. Here is the meat skewer. Here is the fresh veggies, the freshly baked bread, the whole thing, meat test. And now the whole kebab. 
Kebab House Hang. What an excellent kebab. The bread was a 10 out of 10. Homemade, freshly baked. Even the flatbread is freshly baked. I need to go back and try this one. Sliced meat, perfect juicy. Vegetables fresh and good. However, the meat could have a little bit more flavor in my opinion, but all in all, a very excellent kebab. I would give this one a 7.5. Absolute beautiful. It goes right in second place in the top 10. What kebab should I try next? Let me know in the comments because we are searching the best kebab in Switzerland. Many of you guys recommended original Kebab House Erlikon. We are here. Let's go. The kebab shop looks pretty normal. There is the meat skewer, the fresh veggies, and the freshly baked bread. Here is the whole kebab, meat test, and now the whole thing. Original Kebab House Early Home. What an excellent kebab this was. This kebab shop is actually the same as the kebab house in Hönk. They have the same meat, they have the same bread. Therefore, homemade fresh chicken kebab, freshly baked bread, absolute excellent. All in all, I would say this one is slightly better than the one in Hönk. They put a little bit more meat in it and the meat was a little bit more juicy. For me, it's a 7.9. It goes in right here on the second spot on my ranking list. I can absolutely recommend this kebab. If you guys can recommend the kebab, let me know in the comments, because We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Valo in Brook makes their own meat. I'm excited. I'm here. Let's go. Valo Brook is just a small container in the center of Brook. Fresh vegetables. And here is the beautiful homemade meat. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Valo in Brook. What an absolutely amazing kebab this was. The meat is freshly made every day. 100% veal just with salt. Juicy, tender, perfect. They also have excellent sauces. The only complaint I have is not freshly baked bread, but I totally understand because the shop is very small. All in all, an amazing kebab. I can highly recommend this one. I give it 7.9. Absolutely delicious. It goes in right here in the current top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab should I try next and see you guys next time. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and this place just opened two weeks ago. I'm already here for you guys, so drop a follow and like this video. Para restaurant in Kloten. Let's go. This is Para restaurant from the outside and inside it's also very nice. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Para restaurant in Kloten. You guys already saw the pictures. This kebab is amazing. Homemade sliced veal meat, delicious flavor, just salted, excellent stuff. The bread is homemade, freshly baked, although it could be a little bit more crispier in my opinion. And I had way too much sauce in the kebab. I recommend to take this kebab without the sauce because the meat flavor is plenty enough. All in all, an excellent kebab. Can highly recommend this one. I give it 8 points out of 10. It absolutely deserves a place in my top 10 ranking list check out these videos let me know all your favorite kebab spots in the comments we love food yummy we are searching the best kebab in switzerland and i am back at my number one spot rustica in oftringen Perry Center. I got invited because they have new 100 black angus beef let's see how it is let's go and here you can see the new 100 black angus beef meat always freshly cut by der Gerät. I even was able to make my own kebab. Yes, I put more meat in it. And here is the whole kebab. Meat test. And now the whole thing. The new meat from Rustica in Oftringen. As last time, absolutely fantastic. What's new as well is their homemade bread. Every day freshly baked. It's absolutely fantastic and way worth it. And with the 100% black Angus beef, the kebab is juicy, fresh, delicious. The meat is fatty. The meat has a little bit more flavor with the beef. Before it was 50% veal, 50% black Angus. And now it's 100% black Angus be. This kebab spot is for a reason my number one. Since I was invited, I'm not gonna rate this kebab, but you guys can guess it would definitely be in my top 10 ranking list. I just can highly recommend this kebab. Go to Oftringen when you pass by, go to Parrot Center and try their kebab. That's it for this video. Don't forget to follow this channel and we love food yummy. 
we are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Ochotek Rapperswil. And you guys say he makes his own bread and own meat. I'm excited. Let's go. There is the homemade meat skewer. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Altstadecke in Rapperswil. Thank you guys for the recommendation. That was an absolute blast of a kebab. The homemade meat was crispy, juicy, had a perfect flavor, and the bread was the king in this kebab. Freshly baked, doughy, fluffy, and outside crispy. That's how it should be. Also the sauces and vegetables, perfectly fresh. First time I had arugula in a kebab, but I think it fits pretty well. All in all, this is a great kebab. I would give it a 8 out of 10. Great job. It goes in right here in my top 10 ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos if you have other good kebab recommendations let me know in the comments we love food yummy we are searching for the best kebab in switzerland and we are in lausanne you guys said snack du marché we are here let's go before we head into the shop if you want to see live where i'm at at the moment head over to instagram and make stories there every time i try something this is snack du marché in lausanne near the cathedral here are the fresh veggies here is the meat, here the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Snack du Marche, their signature beef and lamb kebab. It's 80% beef, 20% lamb, and the meat is just mwah, one of the best meats I ever had. They also make their homemade sauces, like everything is homemade there. With every bite, you get every ingredient, and that's how it should be. This kebab is absolutely fantastic, and I would give this one 8.2 out of 10. It goes in right here in the top 10 ranking list. Absolutely perfect job. Wheel of food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said Ali Haidar in Geneva. We are here. Let's go. This is Ali Haidar outside near Geneva train station. There are the meat skewers cut by hand. Here is the whole kebab. Look at this thing. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Ali Haidar in Geneva. I'm back in the hotel room and I had to calm down first. But I can't calm down. This was so good. This was the most authentic kebab experience I've ever had so far. Just freshly baked bread, 100% lamb, meat, onions, tomatoes, and a tiny little bit of salad. No sauce, no fancy vegetables. That's how the kebab should be. The lamb is so juicy and tender, it literally melts on your tongue. It doesn't have a very strong lamb flavor, but enough to get you excited. The only little complaint I had was the bread. It could have a little bit more dough flavor, but overall fantastic kebab. I would give this one an 8.3 out of 10. It goes in right in second place in the ranking list. It happened a lot in the past week, so don't forget to check out all the videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab should I try next. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. This place just opened, but you are already recommending it. Adam Stöhn in Dietlikon. We are here, let's go. Oh, and if you haven't yet, follow this channel. Adam Stöhner is located in the shopping mall on the second floor. They have 100% black Angus meat cut by hand. Here's the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Adam Stöhner, wow guys, you saw the pictures. Oh my God, this beef, mwah, delicious. The best onions I ever had in a kebab with herbs and such good spices and the yogurt sauce out of this world. The only thing I would do better is freshly baked bread, but that's about it. I give it an 8.4 out of 10. It goes in right here into the top 10 ranking list. Absolutely deserved. The top kebabs are pinked. Change the bread and they're easily number one in Switzerland. Let me know your favorite kebab spot in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland. You guys said 83, 83. Uh, excuse me, yeah. do you know the name of this kebab? Uh, 8 and 3. 8 and 3. Let's go. This is 8 and 3 from the outside in Fribourg. Here you can see the homemade meat skewers, the fresh vegetables. The bread is freshly baked in front of you. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. 
Before we come to the rating, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot and you get your food content. Huit en trois in Fribourg. Thank you so much for the recommendations. This kebab was a treat. Delicious homemade meat, 85% veal, 15% chicken. The bread is freshly baked and the sauce is, of course, homemade. What do you want more? This kebab goes right into my heart. I give this one an 8.5 and it goes on top in my ranking list. Good job, we don't want. If you guys know a good kebab, let me know in the comments. We love food, yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and this is kebab number 100. I'm back where it all began, butterfly in Basel. Let's go. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Butterfly in Basel. This has been for a good reason in my top 10 since the beginning. Amazing homemade meat, freshly baked bread, no sauces needed, absolutely amazing. This kebab is just banging. Look at this yaprak beef. So juicy and soft, I had to touch it gently. And the bread is almost perfection. Crispy outside, fluffy inside. The only complaint I would have is a little bit more meat. And I think this is even better than Fair Hot in Vienna. That's why I give it an 8.9 out of 10. And it goes back on top of my ranking list. Keep letting me know all your favorite kebabs in the comments. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. Link in the bio. We love food. Yummy. We are searching for the best kebab in Switzerland and Mittundone in Zurich has now Japrak meat. Let's go! Here is the new Japrak meat, piping hot. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test and now the whole thing. Mittundone in Zurich. What an incredible improvement. The meat is 100% beef meat, juicy, tender, absolutely delicious. Comes with a good beef flavor and a salty punch to it. The bread is still absolutely amazing. They even improved that, so it's more cloudy, more fluffy, more better. And the vegetable and the parsley gives the kebab the needed freshness. You can take this kebab with or without sauce. Both is an amazing choice. I will give this one a 9 out of 10 and it goes on top of my ranking list. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget to follow if you haven't. We love food. Yummy. We are searching the best kebab and today we're eating the most expensive kebab in Germany. We are in Munich, Hans Kebab, and if you guys want to support me for all the kebab reviews, make sure to follow this channel. Let's go! This is Hans Kebab from the outside in Munich. Here is the whole kebab with the Wagyu beef, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Hans Kebab in Munich, the most expensive kebab in Germany. Let's be real here guys, this is not a kebab, it's a Wagyu sandwich. The Wagyu is heated up in the pan, quite juicy and fatty as it should be, but unfortunately way over salted. Also the bread on this kebab, way too dry, not enjoyable at all. Overall I would say this is a below average kebab. And something I want to add is the stuff is extremely unfriendly. I'm not rating that, but I still wanted to mention it. Compared to the Iverdis Wagyu kebab for 100 francs, the Iverdis one is way better than this one. And if this video gets over 1000 likes, I will go and eat again the Iverdis Wagyu kebab for 100 francs. If I had to rate this kebab, I would give it a 4.5 out of 10. This is the current international kebab ranking list. Let me know which kebab I should try next in the comments. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab internationally. We are in Munich and many people say Django's is one of the best. Let's head inside and try this kebab. Let's go. This is Django's from the outside in Munich. Here are the meat skewers. Here is the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Django's in Munich. I've been here before and I have to say the last time it was way better. This time it was very strange. The bread was freshly baked but it wasn't crispy on the outside. Also the meat is always homemade but it didn't have a lot of taste. Only thing which stayed excellent were the fresh vegetables. Absolutely delicious. All in all this isn't a top kebab anymore in my opinion. I think it's on the upper range but definitely not at the best. I would give this kebab a 7.5 out of 10. I'm not even sure if it makes it into the international top 10 ranking list. This is it. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab I should try next. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab international. We are at BMW World Munich trying kebabs here. One of the best should be Turkic. Let's go. This is Turkic from the outside. They have multiple locations. Here is the meat. 
Here the sauces and fresh veggies. Here is the kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. Turkic in Munich. This used to be one of my favorite kebabs and I've just been here one year ago But everything seems different now. The bread is this strange sandwich bread. Not really crispy, not fitted for kebab Also, they don't have kebab meat anymore. Just chicken and overall you could argue that this isn't the kebab anymore It's a chicken sandwich. Anyway, the vegetables are very fresh. Also the herbs and spices really good I love that they put the sauces on the bread like butter. I would give this kebab a 7.5 out of 10 This is my current top 10 international ranking list barely made it into the ranking list make sure to follow this channel for more food content we love food yummy we are searching for the best kebab international ranking and we are in munich and many youtubers say this is one of the best sandling special we are here let's go this is sandling special from the outside i love when you can see the fresh veggies here is the homemade meat cut by hand of course here is the kebab bread test meat test Another meat test because it's so good. And now the whole thing. Sandling Special Kebab. Delicious, crispy, fatty, juicy meat. And the other special thing I want to mention are the sauces. Extremely good, herby, salty sauces to the kebab. Really fresh vegetables and also the bread, of course, freshly baked. An excellent kebab and definitely belongs to the top ones. I will give this one a 9 out of 10. It goes in right here into the international ranking list. Check out all these videos. Let me know in the comments which kebab should I try next? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I drive far for these kebabs. We love food yummy. How is the kebab in Italy? We are in Milano. This is the best rated according to Google. Let's go. Start Sagra's kebab in Milano with a rating of 4.6. Here is the kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. So kebab in Italy. This kebab had no onions at all. The wedges are quite okay. The meat seems to be fresh chicken meat. Definitely not minced, so quite good. At the beginning it was fatty, but at the end it became dry, unfortunately. They just put sauce on the top of it, and unfortunately the last bites were pretty dry. All in all, this is a pretty average kebab. I would give it a 5.5 out of 10. This is the top 10 international ranking list. Check out these videos. Where should we go next to find the best kebabs? Let me know in the comments and see you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab internationally and this is one of the biggest kebab chains in the world. Haus des Döners. We are in Düsseldorf. Let's go. Here are the fresh vegetables and sauces. Here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Haus des Döners kebab for germany a pretty standard kebab minced meat nothing special but they know the layering they put the sauce on the bread the bread is also standard bread but crispy and very fresh vegetables the sauces are excellent have a really good herby spice to it unfortunately just the meat is standard minced meat i would love to have a sliced meat all in all a standard kebab for germany but better than 90 percent of swiss kebabs i will give this one 7.3 out of 10 this is my current top 10 international ranking list don't forget to check out these videos and let me know all your favorite kebabs in the comments we love food yummy we are searching for the best kebab internationally and this kebab is made by a famous football person in connection with mangal döner lukas podolski in düsseldorf let's go this is mangal döner from the outside at the train station of düsseldorf here are the free meat skewers here is the kebab bread test meat test and now, the whole thing. Mangal Döner by Lukas Podolski. Unfortunately, the meat is minced meat, although it's very good salt and has a very good flavor to it. The bread is pretty standard bread, but the whole kebab comes with very fresh ingredients and I absolutely love them. The sauces are pretty unspectacular, unfortunately. A pretty standard kebab, in my opinion, for the German level. Even though better than most of the kebabs in Switzerland, I would give this one 7.3. This is my current top 10 international ranking list. Don't forget to check out these videos. Let me know all your favorite kebabs in the comments. Don't forget to follow. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab. Many YouTubers said Ur is one of the best in Berlin. We are here. Let's go. We're starting off directly with the homemade juicy kebab meat. The fresh homemade sauces and veggies. Here is this beautiful kebab. Fatty meat test. 
And now the whole thing. Look at this cross section. And Omar enjoy the Yufka. Ur kebab. What a beautiful, excellent kebab this was. The meat is unfortunately minced meat, but absolute juicy, fatty, and with the fat comes the flavor. Very fresh veggies and delicious, soft, and crispy bread. A very good start for Berlin. I would give this one an 8.3 out of 10. Here is the international top 10 ranking list. Let me know in the comments your favorite kebabs and see you guys on the next one. We are searching for the best kebab international ranking and this is supposed to be the best kebab in the world. Ferhat in Vienna. I'm excited. Let's go. This is Ferhat from the outside with the huge line. There is the homemade meat, of course, cut by hand. Here is all the fresh vegetables. And here is the whole kebab. Bread test. Meat test. And now the whole thing. Ferhat in Vienna. The meat has an extremely good beef flavor, charcoal grilled and comes with a punch. Although my meat was a little bit dry. Also the layering of this kebab completely off. I first had to work through all the vegetables to get to my meat and the bread as well not freshly baked. I mean yes it's baked on this day but not freshly and it's already cold again and the bread is a little bit dry at the end. So dry meat and dry bread wasn't a good combination. And this is supposed to be the best kebab in the world. Come on. Am I a bit sad? Absolutely. But I have to be honest with you guys. And with myself. I will give this kebab an 8.8. .8. This is my international ranking list. Check out all these videos. Let me know your favorite kebabs in the comments. Don't forget to follow. We love food yummy. We are searching for the best kebab. Many YouTubers said Hamphilia in Berlin. We are here. Let's go. This is the shop from the outside. Here is the meat pack. Look at this thing. Here are the fresh veggies and the meat is cut by hand. Here is the whole thing. Meat test. And now the whole kebab. Mmm. Pamphylia, the homemade meat, juicy, crispy, absolutely perfect. Freshly toasted bread and the thick sauces are absolutely amazing. This was one of the best kebabs I ever ever had. We give this one a 9.4 out of 10. This is the Curing International ranking list. If you know an amazing kebab, let us know in the comments because 